Hello everybody, it's OKOK10. Okay, okay, I'm back again with uh, Kingdom Two Crowns Shogun mode. Woo, baby. I'm excited. Play again. Alright, we got the army ready. I think we don't really have much of an army here. I'm just gonna hop in, just fucking wreck everything, destroy everything. It's like my wrist. Oh wow, my. It's hurting right now. I have no clue why my wrist is hurting. Maybe I jerked off too hard or some shit. You ever have those moments when you uh, masturbate? You get like this weird feeling on your dick. It's like you just popped a zit. It's not the best feeling ever, but yeah. Oh well. I get that feeling every single time I jerk off now. I'm not sure why. It's really annoying. I don't know what to do about it. Hey, we killed a deer. That's good enough. I think that cured cancer. Who's this old lady? Get the fuck out of my neighborhood. We don't need you here. Alright, come on. Clearing the trees. So, I was playing a bit of Skull Island, the Challenge Island, and oh, it, was, it was a lot of fun. I realized how OP Shoguns were. Uh, Sho Shoujins. No, not Shoguns. They are... Or no, no, Shonens! Shonens! What the fuck? I get the name wrong that many times. Jesus. They're really fucking powerful. So damn strong. It's, it's, they're more powerful than Thanos with all those Infinity Stones. And with his Infinity Stones, he's still not that strong. Character is way beyond his power level. Like the nipple, nipple rubber, I think. Man, I have so many ideas for cool superheroes and supervillains. I had one called the, the Paint Master, where his whole thing is that he paints stuff. And the stuff he paints comes to life. And then there's going to be a follow-up character called the, the Imaginary Girl or some shit like that. Where it's just a girl that the Paint Master came up with, drew. And, you know, they, they can't tell if that's a real girl or if it's an imaginary... Well, I mean, the name gives it away that it's an imaginary one, but... The whole point of the character is to not know which one it is. A real girl or an imaginary girl. I don't know what the superpower is, though. I guess they're, they might be imaginary. There's a chance they might be imaginary. Yep, that, that's the superpower. We're going to be fighting against aliens and Mephisto or some shit. Alright. Yep, throw me those oh, delicious gold. Delicious. Stop barking. I know there's evil coming. They're not gonna come because I'm, I'm too fast for them. Alright. How much gold are we getting? Oh! Cock. Come on. Drop it in me. Oh, there we go. Oh, I love the music. Brings me back to home. Uh, I should have the guy what's his name banker banker yep he's just the guy oh i just remembered something that i'll talk about i saw a guy's ass back in uh, middle school was it maybe um here's how the story went i was just pissing you know i, was, I went to the bathroom as any normal day and took a piss there was a bunch of people there i think a bunch of guys well, obviously a bunch of guys. Why would there be a bunch of girls in the same area I'm pissing in, of course. Anyways, um, I, I guess someone was in the stall, and I decided to peek down or some shit, and I saw his ass. He's one of those people that piss with their pants completely down. And I never understood that growing up, ever. Why do some people piss with their full ass showing? Like, they want to moon people? Any, any people that want to look over, uh, look down the stall? What's the point of having your bare ass showing when you're pissing? When you piss, your your dick is the only part that needs to be exposed. Your ass does not need to be exposed. So what is the point of having your ass hanging out while you piss? Are you trying to shit while pissing as well? I don't understand this. It's like a rare fun. It's a phenomenon that I just can't understand at all. I don't under I really don't get it. I'm really adamant about it too. Like, why? Just why? Do you like the you like the feel of the air, like the air ventilation shaft hitting your fucking ass cheeks while you piss everywhere? Piss all over the toilet? What's the point? I guess it's just to have your ass out. I I don't know. Some people just can't piss with their fucking pants. Uh, just, just a jar or whatever the right word is for that. 
Oh, uh, I also got reminded of this as well. Uh, you ever have those moments where when you're after jerking off and you go to take a piss, you get like a shotgun piss. You just spray piss and jizz everywhere. I've had that many a times. I'm just asking if anybody else have had, ever had that time. Any, anyone can relate to that. You know, I want to get those relation points up like it's an Instagram post. Oh, do you remember the time when this game was popular and shit like that? Uh, I've always hated stuff like that. Inspirational quotes on Instagram suck ass anyways. Most of them are just quotes that people already came up with, but they, they pretend like it's their own quote, their own original quote. It's something like, uh, money is the root of all evil, which I, I honestly don't agree with. Really? Money is the root of all evil? All evil? You've never watched Avengers Infinity War before then, because Thanos is... Well, first off, I wouldn't really... He's not really considered evil in Infinity War, but he is a villain, so I'll go with that. This guy's a villain. Do you think he does it for money? He, you think he wants some units or some shit? No. The fuck? Oh, that's not why he does what he does. He just believes his ideals are right and the world needs to be rid of a half of its population. The entire universe, actually. Which I can agree with, actually. N not because of his reasoning of, like, resources down. Uh, which is a dumb reasoning to begin with. Because, like... Like a lot of people have said, he could just double the resources. Or, you know, this thing can manipulate a lot of things, right? He snaps his fingers, he just gets what he wants. Like, collecting the Dragon Balls. Well, if that's the case, why don't he just wish more resources? How about this? Unlimited resources... I don't know how that would work, but unlimited resources. Why couldn't you have done that, Thanos, huh? Why couldn't you have done that, you fucking purple grape-looking-ass monster? I don't understand. Thanos looks like Barney. He does kind of look like Barney a little bit. Alright. Let's upgrade these walls. Ooh, I'm excited. Uh, you know, I can never get over his fucking butt chin. This shit looks like an ass. Multiple asses, actually, not just one ass. Kind of like it. Sometimes you just look at his chin and you just want to caress it. I don't know why. I just want to fucking touch it and just feel his chin. I don't know if it's just me. Probably is, to be honest. I'm the only fucking weirdo that would want to do something like that. Okay. Well, oh, there's a chest here. Cool. I've not explored this island much, I see. Whoa, 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 I'm panting. Hey, it's this guy. Hello. Or see? Can not lock him right now? There's a portal there. That's crazy. I don't want to touch the portal. Ever. Alright. Uh, do I want to use him? Not yet. Definitely want to have him there. Just in case we need him. Soon enough, though, we're definitely going to need him. Alright. Let's mow down these trees. Come on, woodcutters. They have hammers, I just realized. How are they breaking this shit with their hammers? What kind of fucking hammers do they have? I've played Minecraft before. You need a wooden axe before you can start breaking down trees. Well, actually, no, in Minecraft, you could punch it down. Never mind. Steve is just powerful. Honestly, if Steve and Thanos fought... Whew. There we go. You guys think fucking a, a skeleton is okay? It counts as necrophilia, right? I had this argument with my friend earlier. Where... If you fuck a skeleton, it doesn't actually count as necrophilia because it's not a body. Because the definition of necrophilia is a dead, is a corpse, right? And a corpse is just a dead body. A skeleton doesn't have a body because it's a skeleton. It's just bones. I mean, then comes the question on how you're gonna fuck the skeleton in the first place. Where are you gonna stick your hole in? Uh, your hole? What the fuck? We're gonna stick your fucking dick hole, dick, dick, cock. I'm getting all jumbled up with my words. Great, absolutely wonderful. No, but for real, where do you stick your dick in? I, I guess you stick it in the ribcage, like my friend said. 
I don't know how that would be efficient. It probably wouldn't feel good either. What if the bones were protruding out and... Or inwards, actually. And then you you keep slamming your dick inside of it. And it's just like... You keep getting scratched on the sides. It's like a cat scratching your cock. Yeah, I'll tell you that much. It would not feel comfortable at all. Uh, that's all I can really say about that. Oh, there's some gold in there. Little banker, come here. Okay, you're a bitch. Whatever. I'll leave you two it then. Oh, I do want to expand a little bit on the left side, but I'm going to have to get rid of this. What is on the left side, actually? Oh. Greetings. Alright, doggo. I don't want you dying, so let's go. I may have fucked myself. I do that too much. I just finger my butthole whenever I'm alone at home. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Kigo my asshole. Oh, oh shit, oh shit. Here we go, we're chilling, we're good. Oh, safety, they didn't steal my dog. Hmm. Might need to upgrade these walls. Oh, I could have just gotten a free upgrade. Oh well, whatever, it's all good. It's all good. We're gonna get a lot of gold anyways. Okay, well, damn it, I don't want to get the wall immediately to the right. Otherwise, the farm plots won't really extend out. I need, need there's a wall right here, I need this wall. Um, come on. Ugh, man, this kind of sucks actually. Oh, I hate the positioning of these things. No, this farm plot sucks assholes. Uh, I guess I could go out a little bit here to the left. So, I, I think I could do, if I'm not mistaken, three farm plots to the left, or four. And then... Um, how much to the right? Maybe five. Possibly, if I get lucky enough. I didn't do my if my calculations aren't off at least. Hey, look, the sword is inside there. Let's stick stick it out, stick it up in the air. Hoorah! Okay. I really need these farm plots. Hurry up, destroy these bamboo trees. Come on. Poe is not eating tonight. There you go. Come on, guys. Come on, dudes. There we go. We're doing good. Alright. Just give me this. Give me this. Come on. Give me it. There we go. We got it. You know, Elden Ring is a really good game. Super good game. Which makes me sad to see this fucking dumbass... Uh, is he a journalist? Or is he just a game viewer? Game journalist, I guess? Or whatever. This idiot... Uh, talks about how terrible Elden Ring is because he died to uh, the NPC. He died to the tutorial NPC. Or not the tutorial. The first NPC you meet. What's his name? I don't remember his name. He's he's the guide. He died to the guide. And he complains and says that the game is horrible because of that. Well, you just suck at the game. I'm not going to say get good because that's just cringy. It's very cringy to say. But, I mean... At that point, that statement actually applies very, very much. So, I mean, I just don't understand. Like, dude, how can you die to the first NPC? That's so dumb. It's like if you're playing Minecraft and you die to a villager somehow. Well, I guess a villager doesn't actually attack you. But the iron golem does. In well, in the first, why would you even attack a villager in the first place, especially if there's an iron golem in it, in the village? Why would you attack the NPC too? Yeah, like it's super stupid. I don't understand, but eh, whatever. What do I know? And then he goes on to say that um, this is the, an argument he made on the game. He said that when he's uh, done working, he wants to go home and relax on the game. So why in the world are you playing Elden Ring? You're literally asking to be tortured. 
you're asking for them to clamp some fucking, um, what, what's those things, the electronic shit onto your nipples and just have that shit zap you constantly. That's what you're asking for if you're playing Elden Ring. If you want to relax and play a game that you find relaxing, I suggest not playing Elden Ring. Take that off the cutting board. Cause not it's not the right game for you if you wanna if you wanna have fun. You mean having fun with Elden Ring? Well, depends on the kind of person you are. I have fun with Elden Ring, but that's that's because I'm I'm me. I'm a masochist, I guess. This is what I was told actually one time when I was um when I was in with the doctors. They were putting on my uh Make sh DIY fucking... What's it called? I, I was thinking of cast, but it, it's not called a cast. Splint, splint. Jesus Christ, how did I forget the name? They were putting on my splint for my foot. And there's a point in it where they have to kind of just like... Push your foot forward. Because they need to get it into position, obviously. And since my... I broke my fucking ankle, you know, that shit hurt like hell. But it stung for like two seconds. And then I was like, oh, it's fine. I said that out loud as well. And then both the doctors there were surprised. Like, what? The f you know, and then they're like, Massachusetts. And I was like, oh, I guess so. Maybe I'm a Massachusetts. I don't fucking know. Uh, I think I'm saying it wrong again. Is it Massachusetts? Is it Massachusetts? No, it's not Massachusetts. That's completely wrong. Massachusetts. Massachusetts? Massa. Massa. I don't know. I don't know. I hate the English language. And I'm repeating myself again. Wonderful. One day I'm going to get comfortable with recording. I'll be able to talk to myself wonderfully. Like I'm having an actual conversation with somebody. But today is not the day. Not at all. Not at all. Once I start nutting everywhere, maybe. Someone said that... They didn't say this to me specifically, but I remember someone saying that... They uh, ate nut that tasted like a uh, car battery. And I don't mean like an al almond peanut or anything like that. What the fuck is an almond peanut? No, I'm not, I'm not talking about those kind of nuts. I'm talking about the fucking ejaculation nut. They said they, they tasted ejaculation that tasted like fucking car battery, which... How do you know what a fucking car battery tastes like, the fuck? And also, you know, very interesting details. I definitely needed to know that. Oh, like I said, she didn't say that to me specifically. That was good. That was good, I guess. Kill the deer. Oh, you didn't even kill the deer. You didn't even kill one deer. Oh my fucking god. You suck ass. Fucking butthole licker. Nipple clamper. A dick twister. Alright. Come on, guys. Kill the deer. Thank you. Thank you. That's a deerable. Re re deerable. I shove the arrow up his ass. Come on. Oh, there's two of you guys here. Cool. Oh, bridge. Cool. I'm gonna just hop over the whole thing. Fuck it. I have the leap of. Uh, Hercules, I don't know. Heracles. I need to read up mythology and shit. There's some cool stories in there. And obviously not not about rape or anything like that. There's way too much of that inside mythology. Especially Greek mythology. It's fucking crazy. It's like, Jesus Christ. They didn't have any fucking rules back then. And yet we complain about rape in the modern age. Which is just like... Some of the stuff that people complain about is rape isn't actually rape. It's crazy. I've seen it. No, I haven't seen it personally. I've just seen the stuff they complain about. Like, there was this one where a guy broke up uh, the relationship with the girl he was with because the girl was cheating on him. Right? And for some reason, she decided to claim that it was rape. How in the world can you claim that that's rape? First off, you were the one cheating on him. He just found out about it. That's it. That's why he broke it off. How in the world can you say that that's rape? That's not fucking rape. 
dumbass. And now I'm just fucking yelling at myself again. Wonderful. It's my inner demons talking to me. Shoot him. Shoot the deer, please. He's right there. There's a whole army of archers here. And I do understand that the archers that are recruited by the Ronin, or whatever his name is, don't shoot deers or uh, raccoons, I guess. But the ones that... Well, there's still one in there that's not recruited by one, so why isn't it shooting it? Come on, man. Shoot him. Oh, my God. It's crazy. Oh. Better run back. My Sheba is going to die. There we go. Got the full squad coming out. Oh my god. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Oh, I'm feeling a little pain in my foot. That's wonderful. That's the world saying, fuck you. Now shove my middle finger up your asshole. I actually feel like I've tried to finger my butthole before. There's no way I haven't. But I can't recall like a single memory of me fi trying to finger myself. But I swear I've tried to do it before. I've tried to done it. I just... I'm so adamant about this as well. I really feel like I fingered my butthole before. Or at least attempted to. That's cool. I... Hmm. I've drank my own piss, but I've never ate my own shit before. That's kind of crazy to me. I feel like I would have had both done by now. But no. I guess I'll put that in the bucket list. It won't be the most prettiest of bucky, uh, bucket lists, but, you know, it's something. It's a bucket list. Panting gym. Let's get some more archers. Come here, bitch. Thank you. My god. Your stamina sucks ass. What the fuck? Drink some ginseng or something. Oh my god, these fucking poor ass people. Come on, low class people. Work for me. And I'll pay you nothing. You pay me though. You pay me for recruiting you and letting you work. That uh, sounds fair. Sounds like a fun ecosystem. Man, I really am a monarch, huh? Monarchy! Hey, look at this farm. Thank you. Oh, it does grow on the port. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, wait. Well, it's. Never mind. It does make sense. Okay. You guys full? Full of crap? Oh, this video is getting a little too long. Okay. I think that's it for this one. I'll talk about more stupid shit in another one. Alright. Peace out.